All right, here's the problem today. Uh, I got a little bag of one micro Henry surface mount capacitor um, inductors. And um, so I wanted to measure them with my new LCR meter. And so I came up with a solution. Let's see if I can get it out of the bag here without dumping them all over the floor. All right, so I took one and I soldered some leads on them. Then I can jam them in the uh, socket and measure them, but now I've ruined one of them, right? And maybe I want to sort them or do something else. So I need to have a surface mount fixture uh, for my LCR meter. Now, you can go online and you can buy these things, and the cheapest I've seen is $56. And in honesty, <laughs> $56 is a really good price, but I'm pretty cheap. And I want to make sure that, you know, 56 bucks is well spent. So I was thinking of maybe building my own. And um, let me show you what I came up with. All right. So in a previous video, I showed that I built these uh, PC boards. And they allow me to go to a socket here, right? And what I need to do is take one of these boards and put a surface mount socket here. Well, I don't think surface mount sockets exist. Um, is, that's probably why they built that, that $56 fixture. But what I did do is I did this. <laughs> um, so um, I have a bag of, these are called pogo pins. And they're little spring-loaded uh, contacts. They can move a couple millimeters, right? And so I took some PC board material, and I used the insulative side and the contactive side, the, the side with the copper, um, in different ways. So I use uh, one on the bottom, the big one, as the substrate that holds everything together. And then I glue these two guys on with super glue and I solder in the two pogo pins. And then I have a little other little one that I use as an insulator that brings it up at the right level. And now my little springs can attach the, uh, attach the part. Now it's a little bit finicky uh, putting the part in there. You have to use uh, some tweezers and push one of the little, uh, uh, the little springs over and put them in there. And keep, a hold of, keep a hold of the part with your tweezers so it doesn't fly across the room. But it's not too bad. It, it goes in pretty easy. Um, and then, once you got that going, okay, then uh, I soldered on a, uh, on a connector that I can just plug into my board. Da, 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 da. Now when I put this on, I have a surface mount test fixture. How's that, huh? All right, let's go see if it works. And uh, we need to go to inductance. There we go. Uh, 958 nanohenries. We're at uh, too high of a frequency, so let's go down to, we'll start at 10 kilohertz. There we go. 1.053 microhenries. And if we up the frequency, 20 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, 200, 400, 1 megahertz, 2 megahertz, 4 megahertz, and 10 megahertz. Uh, so you can see that that changes. Now, one of, the, one of the really interesting things, let's run it back down, 10 kilohertz. Let's measure the Z, okay? This is the absolute value of the magnitude. It's measuring uh, very, very um, low ohmage, right? This is milliohms, 109 milliohms, otherwise 0 .1, 0 0.1 ohms, right? That's at 10 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz. 30, 100, well, that was 40, this is 40, 100. So at 100 kilohertz, we're up to 0.6 ohms. 200, 400, 1 mega ohm, we're at, now, we're at 6 ohms. 2, mega ohm, uh, 2, 2 megahertz, 4 megahertz, and 10 megahertz. At 10 megahertz, it's 59 ohms. So yeah, so this is a, a, a fun tool. Um, 
I also want to get around to measuring with DC bias on things too. I showed that once before, but I have to write a, a computer program and control it over the bus and stuff in order to, I can't do it from the front panel like I could on that Keysight instrument. But yeah, we can see here we're at 58 degrees here too. Uh, 85 degrees, I'm sorry, dyslexic. Uh, let's go back down to 10 kilohertz. Yeah, we're at 39, 39 degrees. 57, 71, 82. Yeah, so you can look at fun, you can look at fun things. Uh, we could have also, uh, when we're looking at inductance, we could have looked at ESR and it's 0.2 ohms. And then as we go up to 10, 10 megahertz, and now it's measuring 4.5 because that's ESR, it's not the real uh, absolute value of impedance. So yeah, they're a bit different. A little bit different, but anyway, four and a half ohms. Anyway, I think my little uh, my little test thing is there is a success. Let's uh, let me find a capacitor. Let's put a capacitor on there. All right, I've put in a point oh one. 0.01 or 0.1? 0.1, 0.1 microfarad at uh, 50 volt. This is a Z5U. Um, there we go. This is at 10 kilohertz. And if we up the frequency, it starts dropping a bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. 100, one, one megahertz, two megahertz, four megahertz. It's gone funny. Yep. So that looks like it's working pretty good. Looks like it's working pretty good. All right, there you go. Uh, you can get these polka pins real cheap. This is a bag of a hundred of them. I don't think it costs much money. Um, I probably sure got them on AliExpress or something. But uh, yeah, there you go.